Hey everybody, welcome back to Lone Star Planner Girl. This is Crystal and we are going to be working on the plan with me for the week of February 17th through the 23rd. And I just thought I'd show you this hack that I came up with. I've actually taken just a cheapy little flexible ruler that I picked up at the dollar store and actually marked with it in Sharpie where I need to draw my lines to make this layout. And it makes it so much faster than measuring or counting the squares. Um, I had actually made a stencil to do essentially the same thing for Amanda over at Mandy Lynn Plans. And I was actually getting ready to do it myself. And as I was trying to fiddle with all the measurements and get them perfectly exact and everything, I was measuring with this ruler and I thought to myself, <laughs> Why am I giving myself the headache when I can just mark on this ruler exactly where I need to be? Um, I'm following the grid lines, so it's not like, you know, I need to mark multiple points to be able to make a straight line. I just need to know which lines to draw on. Anyway, we're going to be using this gorgeous coffee kit from Mandolin Plans. I have obviously an addiction to coffee. So I wanted to go ahead and put that in this week. We are going to start with the top washi. Um, as always, this is just kind of how I like to start my layout. It lets me kind of know where everything else needs to go. Um, and since, again, the grid spacing in this Hobonichi Plain Notebook is the same as the cousin, everything fits as it should. Um, this right side I do have to cut down simply because I have made this layout as a... Um, split column weekend as in Sunday is underneath Saturday instead of right next to it so all I have to do is rip off this piece of washi right at the end of Saturday and since it's designed to go four columns across I don't have to do anything else to it it fits perfectly to make my Sunday column the stencil that you see me using to rip my washi is a dear lily design stencil this is one of their stencils that is designed for the Hobonichi cousin or uh as they put it on their website, Japanese planners. These are just different skinny banners. Um, I think it's the thin Japanese banner stencil. I believe it's stencil 127. I will link it down below. Um, and it is cousin column width. So I love to have it handy. Um, you don't see me use it very much in my plan with me's right now because I've been real sticker heavy lately, but I do have some plan with me's planned that are going to be pen only just stencils and that sort of thing. Anyway, as you can see, it also works perfectly as a washi uh, tearing substitute. <laughs> I decided to go ahead and use this thin washi at the bottom of what's going to be my timeline area. Um, and I did go ahead and decide just for uniformity's sake to go ahead and put it at the bottom of what's going to be my Saturday. I don't usually have too much on my Saturdays. And then as you can see, I'm going to lay this bottom washi. I do it fairly close to the bottom. And Amanda does make her washi continuous, so as you can see as I match it up here, the picture just continues flawlessly straight across, um, which is nice. And I do have to rip just a smidge off the edge as this is intended to fit in A5. And this uh, book is cut down to the dimensions of a B6 slim. Um, slightly modified because I actually made it to match the dimensions of my Jibuntecho Light Mini, which is a tad taller than your standard B6. I believe your standard B6 Slim is around 6.9, 7 inches tall, um, and the Jibuntecho B6 Slim is actually almost 7.5 inches tall, so I have a little bit of extra height, um, but um, it is the same width as your standard B6 Slim. So this sleep tracker of course matches perfectly love it and there's the rest of that skinny washi that i was just wanting to lay that sleep tracker down before i laid it down um and as you can see i decided i was going to go ahead and give myself a little bit more room on saturday for some extra to do's um i really don't do many to do's on sunday so i'm totally okay with moving this down um pretty much the only thing i mark on sundays is church and if i have one or two things i want to get done so I do my best to leave that day open to spending with my family without planning too much. This is a really old sampler that I got from Amanda last year sometime. Um, this is the original cousin size script stickers. Uh, as you can see, they're significantly bigger than the ones I've been using lately, but I thought it would be fun for this layout. And then of course, some date dots. For this week, I'm going to use my Platinum Preppy in Fine, which is the 03 nib. 
Um, I think it writes a bit more of a medium, personally. But I have it inked with Diamine Sepia, which is this gorgeous shading ink that is a kind of brownish, antique orangey kind of color that I thought matched so well with this kit. I'm just going to go ahead and mark my hours. Um, when I have my hourly done in this half page instead of the full page that I've done the past few weeks, each uh, block stands for an hour, but it is a little bit small to write every hour down, so I just choose to write every third hour to keep track of my timeline. And you will see me smooth this, or smooth, smear this ink in just a second. Diamine inks, in my experience, do take a bit longer to dry than some others. That's okay though, they're gorgeous, I don't mind. Yep, see, there we go, there's the smear. Um, so not a big deal. Um, it's just one of those things you have to pay attention to or use some blotting paper, which is a bit difficult to do when I'm filming. Um, so I'm just marking our school hours here. And actually these boxes fit perfectly when I do this half page timeline for the hours that we normally do school. Um, or at least the time that I like to block out for school. Uh, they don't quite fill it up when I do the full page, obviously, but when I do it this way, they are the perfect size. Um, and then I'm just gonna toss one down here for church. Again, just to remind myself that the morning is blocked out. Not that I could ever forget, but you know, that's half the fun of doing a kit is you just get to decorate too. Uh, Monday is, of course, President's Day, so I am marking that down. That's going to be a fun school day for my son. We've got some fun little projects planned um, to help him learn about the American presidents. He's in first grade, so it's the perfect time to really have fun with this. Um, put the skinny sticker down on Tuesday for tumbling, and then, of course, my bigger sticker on Wednesday for both Awana for my son and Bible study for me. I am finally out of my planner Kate school script stickers, so I am off to my Mandylin plans full sheet that I've got. I know I don't really have to mark every day school. I'm aware of what this is marked out for, but again, it's just half the fun of decorating a planner. And her script stickers are so reasonably priced. You get a whole giant sheet of them for just a few dollars, so it's not like it's a big expense to put one on every day. Uh, and then, of course, marking church. I did decide to go ahead and use this giant matte, uh, clear matte payday sticker again, like I did last week, just for a change. Uh, marking to take our trash out. We've forgotten a couple of times in the past few weeks, so I'm trying to be better about that. Um, and then my Jim Awana and Bible study stickers go down next. My <laughs> grand request for Amanda is that she does a script sticker for tumbling in that smaller size that I've been using for Jim, just because it's not really gymnastics that he's in, it is technically tumbling, which, you know, those of you out there who have either taken it or had kids in it, you know that tumbling and gymnastics are not the same. Um, anyway, I decided to go ahead and use these neutral black, white, and gray um, box checklist stickers uh, for each day. I do have, I'm gearing up to do some spring cleaning and we have our big kids clothing consignment sale com coming up in a few weeks that I need to really start sorting through and getting hung and tagged. So I have quite a few to-dos that I wanted to mark this week, which is why I did the half sheet timeline again. Um, if you notice my last few plan with me's, I have done my full um, full page timelines, which has been great, but I really want the to-dos and I don't have very much scheduled this week as you can see, so I decided to put it all in this view. With my coffee Lindy on Monday and my laptop Lindy on Thursday um, to remind me to do next week's plan with me. Um, these to do script stickers are actually from Paper Squirrel Co. She has a set that you can get that's got like, I don't know, seven different fonts on it, which is just fun. Um, and I did go ahead and decide to put some task boxes on Saturday and then my plan for happy principal film edit and upload stickers. My Paper Squirrel Co. order groceries and grocery pickup stickers. I love these. I really, really love these. I know I've said it a hundred times, but it's it's just so nice to not have to write it all out. <laughs> and then I decided to go ahead and pop some headers down so I can sort of uh, mark a couple of these slots for meals. As you can see, I used a meal sticker. Um, instead of the script, just a picture. And then this is going to be for bills, 
for my dollar and then everything else is just going to be daily to do's and then I'm going to go in and start writing some of the ones that I just know off the top of my head that are going to be for next week as you can see this ink is gorgeous and it matches this kit so well and you can't really see it very well or at least I can't on um, my tablet um, you might be able to on a bigger screen this ink shades so well which for those of you that are not familiar with fountain pen inks that means that as the ink lays down on the paper it sort of pools in different spots of the letters that you write so there are various lighter and darker shades throughout the word that you write and it is gorgeous this is one of the prettiest shading inks that I have and I'm not typically a brown orange fan but this ink is just so pretty and it lays so nicely on this Tomoe River paper and it's like seven dollars for a whole bottle of it on Amazon so I do love having it in this pen I think this platinum preppy um, fine nib paired with this ink is just perfection um, half of what I'm learning in my fountain pen journey is that pairing the correct pen and nib with a correct ink makes all the difference in the world I got a pilot vanishing point for Christmas and I hated it to begin with and I couldn't understand because I have pilot fountain pens that I love and once I changed the ink to a separate ink I, it was immediate love so just the simple act of changing the ink I didn't even change the nib um, made all the difference in the world so there we go that is my plan with me for the week as you can see it is shaping up to be a super busy week for me thank you so much for watching i appreciate your patience with me i'm glad i was able to get this one up sooner than last week <laughs> i apologize that my video last week was up a little bit late thank you so much for watching and we will see you guys next time